Same old boring location, I know. Well, uh, not much has happened recently in my life. Uh, I got my car back. Last week I ticketed it in to get um, painted on the bumper. You might not know, but other people might know that the back end of my car, the bumper, was peeling off. All the paint was peeling off, and it was pretty unsightly. But that's one way I knew how to tell from my car from other silver cars. So that was cool. Um, got it repainted. It looks all shiny new now. And, uh, I'm really excited because I just got a bunch of, um, what are these called? Push pins? <laughs> I am brain dead. Anyway, uh, I was trying to rearrange my room and clean things up and I needed some push pins to hang things, but I didn't have any. But now I do. Both parents were, they just came back from Florida where they were, uh, at some Christian booksellers convention down there. And, uh... They bought me something from the Walt Disney World uh, kitchen store they have. Are you ready? Now, I can pull things out of the oven with ease. Like Mickey. Isn't that cool? You can just, like, take stuff out of the oven? Ah, that's so cool. Except it's all, like, wrong hand. There, that looks a little better, right? Anyway, I was pretty excited. I want to bake now. Sometimes I just get a sweet tooth and I just need to eat something, so I... Get a lime candy. They're really good. You should try them. <laughs> um. Oh, I almost swallowed it whole. Do not do that. <laughs> okay. Question: Do you paint your fingernails like with just clear, or do you use color? This is a debate I've been having recently with myself because I like to paint my nails. I like the way they look for the first, like, hour. And then they get all chipped up and nasty. So I'm thinking there's got to be a better nail polish out there that doesn't chip and get all nasty really fast. I bought the Sally Henson hard as nails, except it's backwards in the camera, but whatever. And I figured it wouldn't chip off as fast, but it so does. It chips off, like, right away, like everything else I've had. A little disappointed in you, Sally Hansen. Very disappointed in you. I went to have my blood drawn last week, Thursday. Did I tell you this already? I don't think so. So they, they drew my blood, and uh, they just needed like two little things of it, because they were going to do tests on it to find out whether or not I'm sick or dying or whatever. Which is fine. I mean, I'd like to know these things. I am such a terrible person. I could not gain composure over myself. She drew, literally... Two things of, like, little tiny things of blood. And then uh, I almost passed out. It was terrible. I got that whole woozy thing and I couldn't really hear. And my eyes were going all black and stuff. It was really creepy. And she just looked at me and said, Oh, your face is the same color as your t-shirt. I was wearing a gray t-shirt. That is so good to know. <laughs> Do you remember when I got my ears pierced in that mall in Kentucky? Um... Sophomore year, my sophomore year, your senior year, and I got really boozy right after that. I think I totally have, uh, like, a uh, aversion to needles and things that go into me. Because it was that same feeling right after I got my ears pierced, and I was all like, I need to sit down or like, drink something. And that so happened with the blood thing again, too. <laughs> Maybe it's a good thing I don't get give blood or plasma. I just can't handle it. I, I don't know what's wrong with me. Well... There's a lot wrong with me, but I don't know what causes that. Stay calm, stay calm. Pretty much like the best thing ever. Especially now since I don't have a job. And no income coming in. Ooh! Coming in. Income. Income coming in. Coming in. Money coming in, in cup. <gasps> Worlds have just been opened up into me. My eyes have seen the glory of the word entomology. It's like the epitome of my career. <laughs>